Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and another episode on the Vauxhall Corsa SRI. Um, in this episode we're going to get the new engine out of the boot, get it onto the engine crane and get it into that engine bay and at the end we may even find out if it starts. So let's get cracking, enjoy the video. So transferring the flywheel from the old engine to the new one, put that in place, get all the bolts, put some thread lock on there make sure that that is all tightened down by hand and then just after this we torque them all into place at 35 newton meters if i remember correctly as you can see we've got our new clutch um one key thing to always make a note of is it does actually say flywheel side so i that side you don't want to install it that way around otherwise that will interfere and hit the bolts and your clutch won't work so mission clutch backwards so goes in pretty much like that and then what I've got is this handy alignment tool which basically fits through there make sure it's dead centered and then we can pop the whole thing on so I'll get it hooked up on this and then I'll cut back get this thing back in so I've left the bolts for the gearbox just loose in the bell housing here so I've got a block underneath the gearbox got it level the plan is drop the engine in and then when it hits that block it should be at the exact same level as the gearbox I am gonna put some grease on the splines of the of the gearbox um, shaft bit there I'll do that now actually before I forget Grease on there. Not going all the way down because you shouldn't really, if it's got a plastic centre to it, I don't think you're supposed to put grease on it, but just so that it doesn't hit metal on metal as it goes on. Let's give that a nice, a nice coating on there. And I quite like this red and tacky grease, works really well. Okay, gearbox is in neutral, so it's got movement in it if it needs to be turned slightly. Let's just go for it. Okay, so here we go, let's get the engine back in the car. So at this point I realised that the bonnet was getting in the way, so I just marked out the bonnet with a silver sharpie, just to know where the bolts go and where the alignment was, so I can put it back in the exact same place. Took that off. It's quite nice and easy to do. Get the engine up. And this is where I found my first problem. So the engine was catching between the new clutch assembly and the water pump pulley. So I decided, after a little bit of fiddling around, to take the engine back out and remove the water pump pulley. This is quite straightforward. Just three E14 Torx bolts, take the pulley off. And at this point I thought, well, I may as well put the engine mount back in place while I've got it at the right angle. After a bit of pushing around, managed to get it lined up with the gearbox and then fitted the bracket that goes between the chassis and the engine mount. Again, three E14 Torx and then two E18s. Get rid of the engine crane, fit up the aircon pump, 
and then we move on to the alternator. So the alternator goes in, it's just two long bolts. After that's in place, we move on to the starter motor. Remember this is a new starter motor we got from Josh. So fit that up. Make sure I'm getting all the bolts nice and tight. It's a bit fiddly to be fair. And then after that, I'm routing all the cabling. Getting that into place, moving from the right hand side of the engine to the left. Once that's in, I remove the coil pack. Putting up the rest of the pipe work on the engine. And now we're moving on to the oil filter. So while I had lots of access, I thought I'd best change the old oil filter out for the new one. Took that out. No debris or anything inside there. The new one just clips straight into the housing. Placing the O-ring on top of there. And then tightening that up. Not going over tight, because you don't want to over tighten that. And then decide to remove the uh, rocker <laughs> cover. So okay, the so next step before we put the inlet manifold back on is to replace all these gaskets. Yeah. <clears throat> so I've got a gasket kit here, and we use that. Yeah. A slug? Where did this screwdriver come from, George? Is it in there? Yeah, it was up there. Right, okay. So, use this to get into this packet. Right, can you help me, George? You see this? You see all these? Yeah. We're going to put new ones in, yeah? Yeah. Can you put, put that back? Yeah. So I have flushed all this out because obviously it took a load of water in. <clears throat> so, get rid of each of these gaskets. Someone's going to the park? Yeah. Who's going to the park, mate? I don't know. I get one of those. Don't, oh, don't touch the camera, buddy. I have one of those. You want to put one in? Yeah. Well, I'll do this one. You see what you have to do? Yeah. You have to push it back in. Good. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'll do this one. You want to do that one? Don't put your fingers in there, it'll get dirty. Let's see if we can find that one. I think that one's that one. You gonna do it? Yeah. Okay, so I've got two axle stands underneath there, I've taken the wheel off because I need to put the bottom pulley back on and I've got a new belt and a new tensioner, so that needs to go on. So what I'm going to do is move the jack underneath with a block of wood on top of it, support the engine, and then I'm going to whip the engine mount, which you've seen me do numerous times on this car, whip those three bolts out, those two bolts, and then the engine is supported by the jack. We'll take off this plate and then we'll fit up the new pulley. But before I do that, I want to get the inlet manifold in and it's just about an inch off. So I need to drop it down, get that in, bolt that up.
Okay, so now I've got the pulley back on, uh, or I should say the pulleys, the top and the bottom one. Um, I was seeing if I could put this belt on before I put the engine back in, but because there'd be no alternator and no um, aircon pump, it was a bit pointless. Just a bit of a reference. This belt, if you bought the same one from Eurocar Parts, they were charging 40 quid for a belt, and that is just the belt. So I just shopped around online. Um, parts in motion, massive thanks to them. This turned out to be, I'll put the prices up above, but I'm sure this was around about 14 pound, which is what I'd have expected to pay. And then we've obviously got the tensioner kit as well. I think I paid slightly more for this one, so they're both the same brand. And I think this was around about 40 quid, but as I'd never bought from them before, um, I got five pounds off my first order as a promotional thing. So, heck of a lot cheaper. That would have been a hundred quid from Euro Car Parts. I mean, what a joke. So let's get this all on. Um, and then the tensioner, I'll show you. Bolts onto here. And then also up here. And then basically, sorry, no, and there. Um, and then basically that's got a release pin on it that you pull out. I'll show you on the one that pops. You've got a release pin on here that you can pull. Now, when I got the, the tension that came with this engine, they'd undone the bottom bolt, which was not great because if you've got the bottom bolt connected and the top bolt connected, you can get a ratchet on this, turn it, it will actually pull the tensioner down and then I should have been able to get access to that to put a pin back in. So this way you do it. I bought a brand new one makes sense to do so that'll sit in there um, and then basically you just pull that pin and it extends all right so i was really struggling there i found the best way to get it to root um i loosened off and took out this bolt here from the bottom of the tensioner then put the belt over and now it allowed me to lift it back up into place to bolt it up but i was faffing back and forth with that and i didn't want to keep you <clears throat> waiting so i just turned the camera off until i figured it out so yeah so it roots around the bottom pulley there over the tensioner around the um, alternator up over the top as you can see there all in the tracks and it doesn't have a direction on this one i don't think <clears throat> some of them they said there's a direction on it so i've just put it so you can read the writing when you're standing this side and then i say it all goes down there to the um, aircon pump so i'll get that tightened up and then we'll Put the mounting bracket back on. <sighs> right, that's it all done. I've redone on the mount. Now we have to pull out this little grenade pin. I'll get that on camera definitely for you because to say that I'm a bit worried about it. So I'm not worried about, about it, sorry. Yeah, it would be a lie. Let's see what happens when I pull that out. Tension on it already. So when you take this out, if you can get it out. Come on. Push it from that end. Uh, it's not coming. I'm trying to get a screwdriver in there and pull it apart. There is a small torque in the sausage and beans left, darling. Do you want it or do you want a sandwich? Uh, I'll sleep later. How anticlimactic was that? I'm guessing that has now fully. Yeah. Okay, well, that's done.
thanks to Amazon, my replacement set of, or new set of spark plugs have turned up. I'm just gonna pull one out to double check it's the right one before I open the packet. I had the tool in there a minute ago. What have I done with it? The spark plugs that came in the new engine were okay, but I wouldn't want to run with them because if you look at the tips, this one, if you compare, I don't know if you can see because it's all steamed up, but basically they're very black. Let's check that's in focus. Yeah, look, very black. So we'll change out for a new set. Right, so wheels back on. Drop, lower the car back down. Everything's done apart from the exhaust. So all the cabling's done, all the pipe work. I did actually have to take this bit back off again because I forgot to hook the pipe onto the water pump. That's all done now. All the other cables are sorted. New air filters in, new spark plugs are in. Um, just need to now put some oil in it. So I managed to get off Timu of all places. Some of these little rubber porous, so I thought I'd give one of those a go. And the idea is take that off. And then I don't know how good that's going to be, but we'll give it a go. I think they're both the same size. Three and a half litres. Okay, it should be around about three and a half. We'll let that drain down. Fuel's hooked up, that's hooked up, drain plug sealed. I haven't got any cooling, but I think I'm just gonna put a litre of water in, just go it's got something in there, and also we can check the drain if any leaks. So, oil. Yep, yeah, it's got oil in the sump now. Pretty much bang on top. So, let's 
just give it a start, see if it'll turn over. Just a general note, this is likely to be very loud. Man, that was loud, but it works. I fixed a thing. Oh, brilliant. Right, so we just need to get the exhaust sorted out. I've got a new center section coming this week. Um, yeah, made up. That is epic. Actually fixed it. So I need to get coolant. Need to fit the exhaust. Weld up the cat where Ryan had a little mishap and cut into it. And then, yeah, I'll check the leaks. No, no leaks, dry as a bone. Happy days. Right, I'm gonna pack up. I'm gonna go have a barbecue and most definitely a beer or two to celebrate. I'm buzzing about that. I'm really buzzing about that. So, just proves to you that using information like this, like looking on YouTube, if you just take your time, and I always say to myself, break things down into little bits at a time, fix one problem at a time, and then by the time you get to the end of it, it's all done. So, hopefully you made it all the way through to the end of the video. If you did, thank you very much. If you like what you saw, please hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And please remember to share with your friends, um, post on social media. You know, the channel's growing, not as quickly as I would like, but I'm really happy with it. You know, the comments I get from people are really, really positive. And you know, I enjoy doing it and I just do the YouTube stuff alongside um, to kind of tell a story, what we're doing. Um, love doing the work with George as well. Kind of passing on stuff to him. Okay, he's quite young at the moment and just, you know, wants to just play with the tools and stuff, but you know, it's all experience for him. Um, so yeah. I'm going to get the exhaust sorted out, uh, we've got to do the wing and we've got to sort out that door lock issue. Um, I need a Jubilee clip for the map sensor, or the MAF sensor sorry, on there. And then we can get this booked in for MOT and it can reveal to me all the other money I need to now spend on it. But yeah, again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.